So students, we'll be learning a new concept in binomial distribution itself called as the recurrence relation. Now what is this recurrence relation? Recurrence relation is nothing but whenever there are successive probability terms, say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in this way, in a continuous way, we use recurrence relation formula to find out the next probability terms. Now the recurrence relation between the successive binomial probability terms and successive binomial frequency terms are different. We need to know the probability successive probability terms as well but with the exam perspective what is important is nothing but we need the formula to find out the recurrence relation between successive frequency terms. Anyways, let us see both the formulas. For successive probability terms, the formula is under binomial distribution, the formula is P of x is equal to n minus x plus 1 divided by x into p by q into p of x minus 1. That means nothing but the successive probability term is equal to number of terms minus the term given plus 1 divided by the term into p by q that is success by failure into the previous probability term. This is for successive probability terms and now for successive frequency terms. Again, this is also under binomial distribution. Here, the formula is only a slight change students. So, understand it is T of x is equal to n minus x plus 1 divided by x into p by q into t of x minus 1. Here it is nothing but frequency term, the successive frequency term is equal to n minus x plus 1 by x into p by q into the previous frequency term. Here it is probability and here it is frequency. So now students, let us see a sum based on this particular formula. So here is a sum based on the recurrence relation of binomial distribution. Let us see the sum. The data relates to number of defective items in a sample of 5 for 500 samples taken during a week and they have given the defective items here and the number of samples. This looks like a basic sum where x is given, we can consider this one as x and this is nothing but the frequencies that is given. So the first thing students what we will write is, we will write x is 2. Now what is x? It is nothing but the number of defective items. in a sample of in a sample of 5 now definitely this kind of a sum follows x follows binomial distribution and what are the parameters of a binomial distribution there are two parameters n and p so what is n here n is nothing but the number of samples that is 5 comma we do not know what is the probability which we will find out so it is x follows binomial distribution of 5 comma p now when this kind of a sum is given where only x and f is given that is the number of samples as well as the defective items in a sample of 5 is given we have to find the probability when we have to find the probability students, the first step is nothing but write the data in this way, x as well as f. So it is given to us 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 
frequency is given to us as 168, 180, 120, 20, 10 and 2. Firstly, find the total of this. N is equal to, what is the total of this? When you total the frequency, we get it as 500. Next step is nothing but to find out the Fx, that is F into X column. Let us multiply and see how much we get. 168 into 0 is 0. This is 180. 120 into 2 is 240, 20 into 3 is 60, 4 into 10 is 40 and 5 into 2 is 10. When we total this up, we get 530 and this is called summation Fx. So now, once we had got, just now when we did summation fx, we got the total as 530 and n we got it as 500. Now let us continue further and go one step further in finding out the mean. And what is the mean formula? We have been learning it from our high schools that x bar mean is equal to summation fx divided by capital letter M. How much did we get summation fx? We got it as 530 divided by n is the total number of samples which they have given to us as 500. So, the answer is nothing but 530 divided by 500 in your calculators should give you 1.06. So, students, now tell me binomial distribution and this is mean. In a binomial distribution, what is the formula for mean? In a binomial distribution, mean is equal to NP. That means x bar is nothing but n into p. So let us substitute and find it out now. x bar. That is nothing but we got it as 1.06 is equal to what is the value of n here? n is nothing but 5 into p. We do not know what is the probability. Therefore, probability is equal to 1.06 divided by 5 and that answer is nothing but 0 0.212. This is what we should get the probability as p is equal to 0 0.212. So, students, if p is 0 0.212, what will be the value of q? Exactly. q is equal to 1 minus p, that is 1 minus 0 0.212, which is equal to 0 0.788. So, we have got what is P. We have got what is Q. We also know what is a small letter N. Sample of 5 defective items. That means the next step is nothing but to write the PMF of binomial distribution. And what is the PMF? It is ncx into p to the power x into q to the power n minus x which follows x is equal to 0, 1, 2 up to n. Substitute students now. It is p of x is equal to, let us substitute, what is n given to us? 5 samples. So, 5cx into what is the probability we got? P. We got P as 0 0.212 to the power x. We got Q as 0 0.788 to the power n minus x. That is 
फाइव माइनस एक्स एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन अप टू एन इज नथिंग बट फाइव सो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ द फर्स्ट स्टेप हियर इज फाइंड आउट पी जीरो सो वॉट इज पी जीरो पी जीरो इज इक्वल टू फाइव सी जीरो इन टू जीरो पॉइंट टू वन टू टू द पावर एक्स इज जीरो इन टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एट एट टू दी पावर फाइव माइनस जीरो सिंप्लीफाई दिस यू शुड गेट द आंसर वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई एवरीथिंग हियर यू शुड गेट द आंसर एज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री एट दिस शुड बी द आंसर फॉर पी ऑफ जीरो विच इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो एट एट but students understand here very carefully we are not only finding the probability but we are finding the successive frequency terms here so whenever frequency is associated we will go one step further than the probability that is we will find out what is p 0 and p 0 is nothing but n into p Zero. What is the value of n? N capital letter n. We got it that time in the beginning as five hundred into what is p of zero? We got it now zero point three zero three eight. Multiply this, students. You should get the answer as one hundred and fifty one point. Nine. So, students, once we get this answer of p zero, which is one fifty one point nine, next all the steps become very easy to us because we will not be doing this lengthier method. We will be writing the PMF again and again, multiplying and finding out the answer. We will use the concept of recurrence relation to find out the successive frequencies. so once you find out t0 students you can write there the remaining frequencies the remaining frequencies can be found by recurrence relation the remaining frequencies can now be found out by recurrence relation so students let us quickly write the recurrence relation formula which is nothing but t x is equal to or t of x is equal to n minus x plus 1 divided by x into p by q into t x minus 1 which is the preceding frequency for the first one students it is t1 is equal to n is nothing but the total number of frequencies which is 5 minus x is 1 plus 1 divided by 1 into p by q p is 0.212 we have got it here and q is 0.788 into the previous frequency t of x is nothing but 1 minus 1 which is t 0 so students this will be equal to 5 into p by q in case you get this value once you can remember it remember when you divide this in your calculators you get it as 0.269 into What is the previous frequency, students? We are doing t one, but what is t zero? T zero is nothing but one fifty one point nine. Multiply even this. When we multiply this, we should get two hundred and four point. How much is it? We should get two hundred and four point three zero five five. 
Similarly, we will do T2 is equal to 5 minus 2 n minus x 5 minus 2 plus 1 divided by what is x now? x is 2 into p by q. You need not write the entire thing again. You just divide it and write down. It is 0 0.269 into the previous frequency. Previous is nothing but 204.3055 which is equal to 109.92. So students, this is the way we will find out T3, T4 and T5. Let us see if you can find out the remaining frequencies. I will give you a pause here. Find the remaining frequencies and then we will see whether it matches with what I have written too. So students, I had told you to find the remaining values. Let us see whether you have got the remaining values. You had to get, I found this out for you, T0 was 151.9, T1 was 204.3055, T2 was 109.92 and after this, I told you to find the remaining three values. Let us see if you have got the right answers. You should get T3 as 29.57. T4 as 3.98 and T5 as 0 0.2141. Assuming that you all are brilliant students and have got the right answer, let us move forward. Next step is nothing but we need to approximate all these values to the nearest number. I am pretty sure you all know how the approximation works. You have studied in your primary classes itself. So 151.9 approximately is it 151 or 152? It is 152. 204.3 approximated to 204. Same way 109.9 can be approximated to 110. 29.57 more than 0.5 so we can approximate it to the next number that is 30. 3.98 approximately means 4 and 0 0.2 this is less than 0 0.5 so the nearest approximation for this would be 0. So students the question was very clearly given to us. They had given us the observed frequencies and they had given fit a binomial distribution for the data and find out the theoretical frequencies. So, we have fitted the binomial distribution. This was the question given to us, number of defectives. These were the observed frequencies and the total of observed frequencies, we had got it as 500. So, students, the final step, whatever answers we have got theoretically, we will write it. For T0, we got 152. For 1, we got T1 as 204. For T2, we got it as 110. For T3, we got it as 30. Similarly, for T4 and T5, we got it as 4 and 0. So, students, remember one thing. At the end, when we total the theoretical frequency column, that is the last column, the total of this should be equal to the total of observed frequencies. That means, in case you total this up now, you should get the answer 152 plus 204 plus 110 plus 30 plus 4 plus 0 is equal to 500 and this completes the sum of binomial distribution using recurrence relation where the question says fit a binomial distribution for the given data and by this students we end binomial distribution. In the next case we will be starting with Poisson or Poisson distribution.